What's good y'all? It's your girl Lady Luxuries and I'm back with another video and this time we're doing a updated full glam beat makeup tutorial. So y'all stay tuned if y'all want to see how I got this beautiful beautiful beat for date night, summertime, being outside, city girls, all of that. So y'all just continue to watch and we're going to get right into it baby. <laughs> Alright, so to start my makeup process, the first thing that I want to do is I razor my entire face. This has made such a huge difference whenever I'm doing my makeup because it gets rid of all the dead skin cells, any peach fuzz, any unwanted hairs on my eyebrows, all of that. I can't stand when girls put concealer over their eyebrow hair that's not supposed to be there. It's just like, oh, like you can still see all that stuff. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and razor your entire face. So I already did that off camera because I wanted to make sure I didn't mess up my eyebrows. You already know. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this witch hazel toner. And this is basically just going to give a quick little clean up if you don't feel like washing your face completely after you've razored or you can do that while you're razoring. So say if you wanted to wash your face, put that cleanser on and then razor the cleanser off. You could do it that way or you could dry razor it. It really doesn't matter whichever one is your preference. Also, depending on how sensitive your skin is. I feel like if you have sensitive skin, you should probably razor it while you're cleansing your face instead of just doing a dry razor the way I did. But I don't have any sensitive skin, so I just do it this way and then I go in with my cotton pad and my toner and I get rid of everything that I raise it off so that none of that is sitting in my makeup brushes or stuck to my foundation or anything like that. So once you've done that, the first thing that I like to start with after my face dry is my eyebrows because this literally takes the longest. Honestly, my foundation process is super quick, but my eyebrows and my lashes. Those two things, ugh, it's like I have to focus the most. Whenever I do my eyebrows now, I have a new method of doing it to where I use lash glue as like eyebrow gel. And that's simply because I tried the Morphe eyebrow gel and that didn't do nothing for me. So I use the Duo Lash Glue. And what I'll do is one eyebrow at a time just because this dries fast. And if you see me looking off, like I'm looking at my other mirror. But what you want to do is you're going to put this in your eyebrow hairs not a whole bunch but just you know one coat or whatever and you can see it in there like it's this bluish white color and then i'm going to take this eyebrow pencil from morphe and i'm going to use the wand side and i'm just going to brush my hairs up up and over in the direction that i want my hairs to go so i'm not going completely up because i'm not a fan of the whole wow lion looks like that's not my thing so i just brush the hairs up and over and then once they're pretty up the way that i want them to be like this like the front part i like to make them go up directly straight and then the rest i kind of just want them to lean over a little bit after i do that i'll take the top and I'm basically applying pressure so that it curves. Clean off any excess because when I put my concealer on, I don't want none of that to show. Okay, now that I've done that side, I'm going to go to this other side and I'm going to show y'all one more time. And like I said, you got to move fast so that this stuff doesn't dry because once it dries in place, it's kind of hard for you to move it after that. I'm gonna take my spoolie and I'm just gonna start brushing it through the hairs and then that's when I start applying a little more pressure to get it in the direction that I want it to go in and you can press it down that helps it dry a little bit faster and then once they're pretty much in that direction I go in And anything that's sticking up too far, I just slide it to the side like this. Sometimes this stuff is literally so strong, you cannot move it with this. Like you literally have to take your nail to push your eyebrow hairs down. But that's a good thing because then your brows literally last all day. 
all right so once that's done i can literally see everywhere that my eyebrows need to be filled in especially like this arch needs to be filled in more the end piece of this needs to be filled in more and what i fill my eyebrows in i used to use the morphe dip brow but i've been really liking the pencil because the pencil literally gives you so much precision and this is just a la girl um perfect precision eyeliner it's not even a brow pencil i use their eyeliner but it works the same literally it's still a pencil and i fill it in and the color that i'm using is dark brown so to get the best best results i sharpen my pencil to where i have that point in and i'm going to start at the edge of my brow and then i'm just going to fill it in and you want to be really 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 light-handed with this because it is very very pigmented so I kind of stretch my brow just a little bit and then I lightly start to fill it in. And I'm barely tapping it, but you can already see how much it's filled in the end of my brow. And depending on what look you're going for, if you want to go for a more natural look, of course you can get a lighter color in your brow pencil, but I don't know the natural look to me it really doesn't look good on me where you're just doing a few hair strokes so i actually fill in my brows to where you can tell i filled in my brows <laughs> if that makes sense and so now that i filled in that tail and i know it's gonna look a little crazy before we get everything done but this is for a full face this is not for my natural girls, this is a full face beat, y'all. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to go over the top. Make that more square. I'm going to make my arch just a little higher. And you can already see how dark my eyebrows look just from this pencil. So yeah, whenever you're picking out your pencil shade, Make sure you're careful. Whatever that freaking means. And then once I come towards the end, I'll do a light line and then a couple of strokes at the top. So I'll outline the bottom very lightly. Any sparse areas, I'll tap that. And I'm doing it very, very lightly. And then I'll go in. And I'll bring it up just a little bit. Then I'll go on with my spoolie and I'll brush that product up so that I'm not using too much product because you still want that blend in the front of your brows. And you just want to blend it as much as possible. It's going to be a little difficult to blend so you want to be careful because once you put that glue in there, everything that you put onto your brows is going to stick. This is good for the summertime, but if you're still trying to figure out how to get your brows right, like you're not comfortable with doing it yet, then I suggest you skip the glue part and then it's going to be way easier for you to blend out your eyebrows. But I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this side to this side and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are filled in the way that I want them to, I'm now going to go in with a concealer to conceal my brows. So. Depending on how much coverage I want, I'll either go in with my Juvia's Place foundation. And this is in the color Savannah. And I would go in with this first and then I'll go in with a lighter color underneath. So I'm just going to take a flat round brush, something like this. It really doesn't matter. Some of my, most of my brushes honestly don't even have a label y'all. So I wouldn't even be picky about brushes, but if I did have to pick a brand of brushes, I would say anything for foundation, go with Real Techniques. Anything for like eyeshadow or concealer, Morphe honestly has some really good uh, brushes. But I will say one thing about Morphe's brushes, at least for their eyeshadow ones, I noticed that it fluffs out like a lot. To where after a while of washing it and stuff like that, you would see it like... I don't know how to explain it. It looked like real sparse. I don't know how you explain it, but yeah. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of this foundation out because I want a fully 
covered um, because I want full coverage underneath and above my brows and I'm just going to take a little bit at a time. I do not want to put like a whole bunch and then have to blend that out a lot. I don't like working extra hard on my makeup. I want to be done and just hurry up. This already takes too long. So I'm going to take this little bit of product and I'm just going to start underneath at the peak of my brow. And I'm going to focus in on the tail first because to me, that's honestly like the most important part is the tail of your brow. So I'm going to go in and make sure that tail looks how I want it to look. And then I'm going to drag the rest of the product on my brush towards the front. And I'm going at sort of a, not a straight across, but a slight angled. So whenever you're doing this on you, you just basically want to carve out your brows the way that you razored your brows. You do not want to put any concealer or foundation on top of your eyebrow hairs because I promise you, you can see it. Like, there's no hiding it. You can definitely see that. <laughs> so I got underneath my brow done. So now that I've done underneath this brow, I'm going to add just a little more product just to get a more cleaner look. And blend that all in and drag it down. And now the underneath of this brow is done and I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And you always want to work with just a little product and build it up, especially with Juvia's face, because honestly, their foundation is so it's such a thick formula, even their concealer, too. If you get their concealer, same thing. It's a thick formula and you do not need a lot for coverage and it's affordable. That's always a good. That's always a plus, because baby, if I can get a really good foundation, that I ain't got to use up the whole bottle in two goes, you know, that's always a win. Because gas too high to be paying for all this makeup. I'm not even going to lie to you. Gas is way too high to be buying expensive makeup where half the bottle, it, gas is way too high to be buying expensive makeup and you only getting half a bottle of product and then it only lasts for two rounds. I can't. So Juvia's Place is definitely highly recommended by me. I've been using it for years. And when I use something, I really do not be liking to switch it up. So if you've seen my first makeup tutorial, a lot of this stuff, the products that I'm using, most of it is going to be the same. The process may be different, but the products I use, it's mostly going to be the same. So I'm just going to bring this in and connect it because, I mean, I'm going to end up putting this foundation everywhere. And then I'm not going to go all the way up to my brow whenever I put it in the center. I'm just kind of leaving it right here. And then I'll go back in and kind of blur, blur it out so that it's like an even, you know what I mean? Instead of it looking like foxy, like I hate that. It That gives very much 2005, we didn't know what we was doing in the makeup world. That's what that gives. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit more and now I'm gonna do the same thing on my top brow. And I'm going to make a straight line and then I'm going to arch it. So I'm going to go straight across and then add that arch. And then I'm just going to blend it out. The top brow, the top part of your brow is honestly way easier. It's that bottom part. You really got to focus and make sure you get your arch right. Because if you go too high, you look a little too heavy. If you go too low, then you got a big old square rectangle looking brow and that's not cute either. So I'm going to take this other side. I mean, I'm going to take a little bit more product and I'm going to go on this other side. Same thing. Straight across. And then down. 
and connecting it where that tail ends gives you a more sharp look at the end of your brow. And like I said, I don't go for like the fluffy brow look. Like that's not really my thing. So, boom. These are the brows. Wow, I did real good. I ain't gonna lie. I thought these was gonna be ugly. <laughs> so now that I have that, in order to get more of a highlighted look, because this is cool if you want it to look natural, but I like a little bit of highlight underneath my brow. So what I'll do is I'll take some concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 22. I see that? 22. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, and I'm just going to dot right here, and then dot right here. And then I'm basically going to re-outline my brows. Because this honestly doesn't give me at nearly as much coverage as the Juvia's Place Foundation. But it gives me the color that I want. And the mix of these two colors make the perfect highlight to where you don't have like a halo brow. Because that's not cute neither. And I also don't like highlight towards the front of my brow. Like I only want it in that arch. So whenever you do it this way, you're able to blend it towards the front to where you don't have that raised look because you don't want this part to look high up you want your arch to be high up does this make sense i know i ain't the best at explaining but i hope this makes sense so i'm gonna do the same thing re-outlining my brow and then blending it up, up towards the front without actually taking it to the front and any excess you're just gonna bring it down Y'all see that? I see that. So I know y'all see that. I really hope my camera is picking it up the way that I want it to pick up. And then you're just blending that down. To where it still looks natural, but not natural. Natural meaning like your skin. Like it matches your skin color without looking like you just put on makeup. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like when I be explaining stuff to y'all, nothing makes sense. But anyways, brows are done. And so, to finish the eye area, I would either do eyeshadow and lashes, and that way my eye area is done. That way I could just speed through my foundation. Or I'll just start on my foundation and then come back to the eyeshadow if I don't know what I'm going to do. But what I really love to do, this is going to be... Pretty much my go-to when it comes to my um, eyeshadow. Y'all know I do not do eyeshadow at all. Like, that is not my thing. I don't do it. So, what I would do in order for eyeshadow, like, say I want to give my eyes, like, a little bit of pop. I just want a little bit of color. I'll take some of my bronzer. And this is the Butter Bronzer uh, Physicians Formula. And I think the color is Muru Muru Butter. Honestly, I don't know. I've never figured out what this color was. It says Sunset Bronzer, but I don't know which one of these. It looked like this, y'all. So, I don't know which exact color this is, but there y'all go. And I'll just take some on my Morphe brush. This one doesn't have a number on it, but it's fluffy. It's an eyeshadow brush. And I'll just go over the top of my lid and then blend it up to my crease and then that gives me some warmth warmth on my eyebrows but if i don't want warmth then i'll go in with a cooler color something like really a really really light nude something like that but i typically like a warmer look like i like the browns because honestly that's all i know how to do and that's what looks best on me so i'm gonna just stick to what i know like that's the easiest thing you to do you can do if you don't know what to do if you take one color one shade of brown out of your eyeshadow palette you'll be good and as far as eyeshadow palettes i recommend morphe because they're affordable and when you're beginner level like you don't need to be buying all that expensive eyeshadow palettes now i ain't saying i'm beginner level but i ain't no pro so ain't no point in me wasting pro money on eyeshadow palettes and I ain't a pro when this is all I like to do anyways. So any shade of brown that's just a little bit darker than you, 
pop that on your eyelids and it's gonna look like you did your brows i mean and it's gonna look like you did your eyeshadow so once that is done what i'm gonna do now is pick out some lashes and i'm gonna put my lashes on off camera because Y'all know how to put on lashes. Do y'all? Don't y'all know how to put on lashes? Like y'all know how to put on lashes. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish my face. Alright, now my lashes are on and y'all, these are my Leia Luxuries lashes. These are some lashes that I used to sell. I know they're not on my website anymore. I know everybody's been asking about them, but I just stopped selling them for a while. I think I'm gonna start back selling these lashes because look, because back then, look at them. They look good, don't they? <laughs> I know. But yeah, now my eyebrows actually make sense, child. Because I can't stand when I, people have like a strong brow and it be looking so cute. But then you decide you're not going to wear no lashes. And then it just be looking real dramatic at the top. And you ain't matching the rest of the... Hey, to each his own. But I'm going to always match. If I got dramatic brows, I'm going to do dramatic lashes. If I got natural brows, we're going to do a more natural lash or no lash. That's just that's me. You do you, but this is how I do me. So now that we have our brows done, I think I'm going to see how I feel by the end of this video. But I think I want to add like a little bit of a darker shade of eyeshadow. I'm not sure. Y'all can help me figure that out by the end of this video. But I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation now. So I'm going to move all this hair out the way. Y'all like my new hair? Last time I did a makeup tutorial, I was all, all black hair. Now we got a little blonde going on. And I made a video about it, so y'all need to go look at that. But in order to do my foundation, I'm going to use the same foundation y'all seen before, which is the Juvia's Place in the shade Savannah. And in order to apply it, I'm going to use that same concealer brush because, like I said, this stuff, you, a little goes such a long way. So I only have this little dot, right? And I'm not going to focus it underneath because we're going to add concealer under there. And you do not want to over layer your foundation because it's going to look really, really cakey. So I'm just putting on a very thin layer of foundation and I'm going to build it up. So I'm taking little bits at a time. You do not want to get too much a little bit at a time and then you just want to work with that blend it in and then if you need more add more because like i said the consistency of juvia's place is so thick like it is very very thick so you don't want to overdo it a little goes a long way even when i'm doing like a natural beat i'll just take like even less than that and i'll basically like spot check fill it in a little bit and then like I'd be good to go so yeah depending on how much coverage you want I suggest whether you're going for a little bit or a lot start with a little bit whenever you're using this kind of foundation and I only put a little on my forehead because I notice my forehead sometimes gets a little gray almost like it looks really ashy whenever I put foundation on my forehead and I don't like it <laughs> So I just keep it to a minimum whenever I do my forehead and then I apply it everywhere else. I don't go heavy under the eyes because like I said, we're going to be adding concealer under there to get a highlighted look. So you don't want to put too much. And when I blend it in, I have two things I, I like to use. So I'll go in with my Real Techniques brush in the shade, this is not a shade baby, <laughs> in the number 200. And this is like a dome brush and so i will go in and i'll basically push the foundation in because whenever you start out with a beauty blender it's going to take off most of that product so unless you add it too much then i wouldn't start with the beauty blender i'd start with the brush first that way you can place the product exactly where it needs to be and then you go in with the beauty blender to basically buff everything out So you just want to blend, 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 blend all of this out. I do not put makeup on my neck, so 
If you want to put makeup on your neck, you can do that. But honestly, I don't like makeup on my neck because I will forget that there's makeup on my neck. And I already be halfway for getting there's makeup on my face. So you see, this is pretty close to almost my exact shade is like a little bit off but that's only because my face honestly has different colors like some parts be darker some parts be lighter so my face isn't just one shade if that makes sense i hope i'm not the only one because if i'm the only one then that sounds crazy but yeah so once i go in with that i'm gonna check to see if i'm okay with the coverage that i have and i think i am because you gotta remember, I'm in Texas and baby, this heat ain't nothing to play with. So I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender. And I'm basically just gonna quickly go over everything just to make sure there's no brush strokes or anything like that because the brushes can give you, not like a paint brush stroke, but like you could tell some, Sometimes I feel like you could tell you use the brush unless you was just blending for a long time. But sometimes like if you're moving as fast as I am, you can kind of tell a little bit. So now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Now, I use a couple of things. Just a couple. First, I use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And you're going to notice throughout this video, yes, I use affordable products because they're easy to get. I ain't worried about everybody else taking them it don't cost that much it lasts a long time it's just it's just better and this is in the shade neutral buff i honestly do need to get more of this and this is so close to my foundation that it's not even really concealer so i'll put this on the outside edge of my concealer and that's just so i have a smoother blend and transition from concealer to foundation because i do i love a highlighted look but I'm not trying to give super makeup. Like I'm not trying to give obvious makeup. Like, And then I'll go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 22 Wheat. And then I'll put that there. And I do this in like, literally in like sections. Because you wanna be very careful. Honestly, I feel like this is the highlight literally like the main point of makeup since it's become a trend to make that under eye super highlighted and i don't put any on my chin or my forehead not really if i want to do a little highlight on my forehead i'll use this one just because it's so close to my foundation i don't have to worry about the blend because i can't stand whenever it looks like you need to blend out your forehead does that make sense i don't like it <laughs> That's not cute. And then to get the really highlighted look, I go in with my brightest concealer. And this is in L'Oreal, the Infallible Full Wear. And this is the shade 355 Vanilla. Can y'all see it? You can see it if my thing focus. Yeah. 355 Vanilla. And I'm only using a dot. Literally a dot of this. Because this spreads so much you do not want to use a lot you don't i promise you you don't so now that that's sitting there i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and while i'm letting that sit i'm gonna go in with my um contour and i use the merit beauty i got this from a sponsorship a while back like way way back and i've loved it ever since so i use their concealer and this is in the shade sepia and this is also their foundation brush. And what I do is, I just washed it so it looks a little funny. Normally it's more fluffy, but yeah. I will go in, instead of drawing it on my face because I don't want my foundation to move, what I'll do is I'll tap it onto the foundation brush. That way the product's on there, but I'm kind of spreading it out on there. And then I'll go in and push it into my skin. You see that? And sometimes I be wanting a darker look, but this honestly does what I need it to do. I'll go in on the other side, do the same thing and put that right under that first line of concealer. And I'll bring that up to the side of my face, down, 
and then I kind of just buff it out under my jaw to give me a little bit of a stronger jaw but I honestly don't need no strong jaw because I'm skinny <laughs> I already so I already ain't nothing there anyway so and then I'll blend this out on my forehead and it took me forever to find something to blend on my forehead because everything was making me look ashy but this product I can say honestly has never let me down ever so now that I've applied that everywhere blend it out a little more and I'm gonna contour my nose but I do that last after I blended everything else out so in order to blend this concealer out, I'm gonna use a brush first and then I'm gonna go in with a concealer and I'm going to just blend 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 and this is honestly my favorite part I'm not touching the lightest concealer just yet I'm blending out those first two concealers and then I'm going to touch the lightest one and like I said whenever you use a brush to blend your concealer instead of a beauty blender it keeps all that product there that way you're not wasting any product you're actually using everything Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like the three step concealer, y'all, has helped me so much. And I'm going to go in right here. And I kind of bring it to the side of my nose. And it makes my nose look a little more skinny. Because I ain't going to lie, y'all, I got a fat nose. So, bring that in. Make sure it's underneath my eye. Blend that out. And then, as far as the middle area, I'm going to take a different brush. And this is just a flat, it's a flat eyeshadow brush. And it also doesn't have a brand. And I'm going to just buff this out. Now, this part, I'll leave it like this. That way I can get the most highlight and then I'll go in and I'll blend it out with the beauty blender that I use for my foundation. But first I'm going to start with the outside area because if you start on the inside, all of that bright concealer, once you try to take it back out, it's going to be too bright and you're going to be spreading out the bright concealer first. So spread out the darkest concealer part and then work your way up. That way you're not mix it too much and you see how it makes everything more flawless more seamless i hardly touch the inside because like i said i like that highlighted look so i want to keep that as much as possible and then with my nose i want to blend that out more because i don't need i don't need rudolph you know we don't want to give shining stars and then just a little bit under my eyes And then boom. Now my under eyes are blended. It's not too much, none of that. I just dropped my beauty blender. Good thing we almost done, so I don't get mad. So I'm gonna take this dome brush. This is from Morphe. I'm gonna go back in with my uh, contour and I'm gonna tap this so that I can get just a little bit. And I'm going to shape my nose. So I'm going to look off just a little bit, but I'm going to shape it to where it's a thin line. I'm going to go underneath so that it pushes my nose up and gives me that kind of look. And then I'm just going to go. And you want to bring this up to your eyebrow so that you're not stopping at your nose. Because that just makes it obvious that you just tried to do makeup surgery on your nose. And nobody needs to know that you're out here doing makeup surgery on your nose. It's none of their business how much makeup surgery we do on our nose. Just know that it's skinny today and it's going to be bigger tomorrow. But don't worry about it tomorrow because it's skinny today. <laughs> and so that's all I do. If I want a darker look, I'm going to show y'all what I do. Because you got to set this anyways and we're literally almost done. We're about to set our makeup and we're going to be done. So I'm going to take a clean beauty blender and I'm going to set it with my... I'm finna knock everything over. I'm gonna set it with my Fit Me powder in the shade 10. 
And it's so bright because like I said, I like that highlighted look. You're gonna put some in the top of your cap. Dab your beauty blender in it, right? You see all that? Do not put that on your face. Take the back of your hand. It gets that excess off to where now you have a little bit on there. And that way you can gradually set your face. And you're gonna push this in. Now, I don't know if I baked in my last makeup tutorial, but I don't really bake no more because I figured if I just use a lighter powder and just really set it in, it'll give me the same effect as baking and it won't be as in your face powdery. You know what I mean? The way that baking does. So. I just did this side, I blended it in because the beauty blender is gonna give you that airbrush look. See, see? I'm gonna do that again to the other side. And we is almost done. Tap all that, you see all that coming off? You don't want that under your eyes. And I'm bringing it onto my nose so that it pulls it, it's gonna accent my contour. And it's gonna make my contour look more sharp because that's honestly the other focal point that you want on your face you want your under eyes to be highlighted perfectly and then you also want your contour on your nose to be snatched baby you don't want to give wide nose at least i don't now if you do and you like that that's cool but me i'm gonna snatch my nose and then i'm just going to take the excess and i'm gonna set my nose See that? When you set your nose, it's going to spread out that contour, but like I said, you still have to set your contour with a bronzer afterwards. And I'm just going to take the excess, tap anywhere that was highlighted, anywhere with foundation, just a little bit, not too much. Take a clean part of your beauty blender and then tap all over just to give a full blend because you don't want too much separation going on. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer that I showed y'all earlier and I'm going to take a fluffy dome brush. This is, I don't know whose brush it is, but if you get a brush that look like this, it's going to do the job. <laughs> and you just want to put that all over where you had your contour and then you want to focus it and then kind of bring it out just a little bit. And it's going to add a little extra warmth everywhere else. That way. It blends all that together. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope this is making sense. I really do. Because this is coming out super good on my end. Hopefully y'all getting the same effects over there. You know what I mean? If you following along. Yeah. And do the same thing on my forehead. I'll blend my bronzer down more on my forehead just because... I don't like a super highlighted forehead. Like my forehead's big enough. I don't need to accent that anymore. So I kind of go in with this bronzer because I love a good bronzy look. And I'm not a big fan of blush just because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, that's what it is. And so I'm going to take this same Morphe brush that I used, excuse me, for my eyeshadow. And I'm going to go back in exactly where I put the contour on my nose the first time and I'm just gonna snatch my nose and you want to tap that excess off otherwise your nose is gonna look like you snatched it <laughs> and it shouldn't give that we want it to look like Jesus snatched our nose not us and then boom you see how it I, I really hope it's picking up on camera the way it's picking up over here baby because we look flawless Yes, and it's not getting too, too much. Okay, let me finish. Uh, and I need to blend out this side a little more. Want to make sure everything is blended. You want it to be a smooth transition everywhere. Now, for these crusty lips. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. And I'm going to outline my lips. I don't overdraw my lips at all because baby they big enough. 
<laughs> Honestly. I need to hurry up before my camera die. And then I bring in a little bit on the sides of my bottom lip. This honestly makes my lip look a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to take any lip gloss. This one is the Morphe. Just something I got out of a pack. And then I'm just going to put it there. And this is my go-to lip. Like, I think this is so pretty, effortless, and it's easy to keep up with. See? And whenever you're eating, you could just add more lip gloss because your lip liner should still be there unless you just eat like that. But, yeah. This is, oh, oh, highlight. And I only highlight my nose now. So literally all you're gonna do, ooh, her. All you're gonna do is take my master chrome, use my pinky, and boop. Just to give a little highlight on the nose. Boop, down the bridge, and baby, we're good. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. I was nervous, but now baby, we look good. So thank you all so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video. Purr.